for a situation where price rises, right? So let's look at each of these scenarios. So first the supply of the good decreases. So let's really quickly draw this out. We have our demand, we have our supply, and we're saying supply decreases, it's a leftward shift of the supply curve, something like that. And we have a price increase, right? We used to have an equilibrium level over here. Now it's over here. So we do have a price increase, so that looks like a pretty good candidate for our answer, but you know, let's just check the rest of the answer choice to make sure. B says that the price of a substitute for the good decreases. Again, let's understand the definition of a substitute. A substitute is basically another good for which consumers believe that this good and that good are, are replaceable with each other. They're, um, they could be substituted for one, one another. They're, you're indifferent between which one you get. A good example might be like, um, I don't know, uh, lemons and limes, although there is a difference, but let's just say for the sake of argument that people don't care whether or not they get lemons or limes. So let's say limes is our uh, primary good and lemons are the substitute. If the price of the substitute good decreases, that means the price of lemons goes down. What does that mean in a lemons market? In a lemons market, the price goes down, law of demand tells us quantity demand goes up. Okay, perfect. What does that mean for us in our primary good market, the limes market? Well, we know that people come to the market and they don't care if they buy limes or lemons as long as they get one of them when they go home. And we know that people, because the price is lower for lemons, are buying more lemons. Therefore, if you're already buying more lemons, you don't see a need for limes, which are to you the exact same thing. So you buy less limes and that's gonna be a leftward shift in, uh, in the demand curve for uh, for our line market, right? So a leftward shift in demand would look something like this, and we see a price decrease, and so that's not gonna be a good answer for our question. C said demand for the good decreases, and we just established that a decrease in demand would not give us that price increase, it would be a price decrease. D says there is a surplus of the good, and we went over this in the previous question, right? But a surplus means that your price is something higher than the equilibrium level, and borrowing a price control like a, like a price floor, you'd actually expect that given the surplus, the pressures of the market would force the price to decrease in this market. And the reason for that is because you have people who are supply, you have suppliers who have a surplus of inventory and they're going to be putting those into the uh, inventory for, uh, for future periods because they can't sell. And they would rather just sell that to in, in this current period, right? And so in order to do that, they see there's people who are willing to buy at a lower price and, and they would rather sell it by the end of this year than just keep it and throw it away, right? So they lower their price and there's that downward pressure and someone's gonna buy it. And they can keep lowering that price up until the equilibrium point, at which point there's no more buyers if you continue to lower the price and that's when it stops. So that downward pressure continues to exist for this surplus situation until you have uh, reached equilibrium again. And so this is not gonna cause the price of the good to rise, it will cause the price of the good to fall. And finally, the answer choice E says, the good is an inferior good and income increases. <clears throat> um, again, uh, let's take a look at this gra on, the, on the graph. We have our supply and demand curve. And this is a, a demand, a market for an inferior good. Well, what do we know what happens when income increases for an inferior good? Uh, inferior good by definition is a good where if you have higher income, you would purchase less of this good. So that is reflected in a uh, leftward shift in demand, right? It's uh, going, to, whoops, sorry. And it's shifting to the left. And again, just like in this graph over here, we see that that's going to lead to a decrease in price, not an increase in price. So A is still the only answer choice, which gave us that right, uh, rise in price. And so we're gonna go with A. Let's go with the previous year's answer. Previous year says that the correct answer is A, the prices of many goods are inversely related to the supply. They tend to rise when the supply decreases. They tend to uh, fall when the supply increases. The answers B, C, D, and E do not describe the relationship between price and supply. And so um, it's less so that they don't, B, C, D, and E don't describe this relationship between price and supply. It's more so that they simply don't lead to a price decrease, a uh, price increase, right? Uh, it's not that the other answer choices don't describe the relationship between price and supply. It's more that they simply do not result in an increase in price. So correct answer though, so mark that as correct.